Good afternoon. My name is Chad, and we are smoking the M Bourbon by Macanudo. Uh, this one is a uh, Toro. Uh, let's get this going. <laughs> Someone's in a hurry. Yeah. Bourbon. <laughs> Alright, so, um... It does not smoke like it smells. Yeah, exactly. I, uh, wanted to kind of introduce what we have here now, uh, the new X-Fire by Zykar. Um... Tasteful B-roll covering up his ugly mug right now. Correct. I've been, uh, I've been using that. This thing works fantastically, uh, windproof, also. <laughs> because it's a flame. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure so, you want to hit the button five times. And then after it's done blinking, you can hold it down. It will light, or not light, but uh, there get hot for 10 seconds. There? It heats up like a, you know what it reminds me cigarette of? is like a, It's a portable car cigarette lighter is what it reminds me of. Yeah. To where it, it just heats up a filament and you touch the thing to not, it. Not three, not four, but and six is right out. I got to say, though, uh, I mean, it would make sense for the guys who uh, uh, really... Go up on the, the like, about hold. the purity of it and how you're not introducing any flavors. Well, hot, you know, I mean, it's just touching a hot filament. It's not actually. There's no fuel to contaminate the the cigars. Mm -hmm. Light. So you're saying uh, JDM Bros will love this thing for the purity. Yeah. But it, it's a good lighter for. Uh, I've been using it. I've been using it the last couple yeah. of days, and uh, I gotta say, I thought it was stupid when we first got it, and now it's the first thing I use. Yeah, I mean, easy every time. Um, <laughs> and isn't it rechargeable? Rechargeable. So you don't have to worry about it running out of fluid. I guess it'll run out of battery, but it looks and it looks like a flashlight. Hmm. And it's I guess right. if the room was really light or really dark, you could use it as a flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> Turn it towards the camera. I know. I'm gonna. I'm just letting it. So yeah, it just heats up like. Uh, so it just heats up like yeah, it just heats up like a filament you would in your like an old school car cigarette lighter. If anybody remembers what those are. The. Uh, I have one in my car. Cars I have four. or the the uh, electric heaters that had the wire going like. back and forth. Yeah. Just like that, pretty much. Yeah, I have one in the front of the center console, one in the back of the center console, and one in each door. So back to the cigar. Okay. Uh, what are you getting as far as initial impressions there, Chad? Initial or impressions, like well, build quality, flavors. It's nice. Uh, a little, like it's got the sweet, uh, sweet and tipped, which is uh, yeah. It does have a sweet cap. Different for me. Nice. Uh, it's mild. Definitely not going to be uh, one that uh, if you want it, you're really tough, strong, triple Maduro. This is not the one for you, but uh, this is a no nice. Chocolate. The marketing. Well, the Some marketing sort of claims. The marketing claims nougat, which mm -hmm. I'm thinking that's what I'm getting. Like mm -hmm. candy. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the bourbon is obviously, obviously there a little bit. Yeah. Uh, the nougat, uh, I can see definitely the nougat, and it says oaky, and it's got a little got bit. Got the oaky. I get, I'm get, I'm definitely getting a little bit of oaky for sure. What are you getting, Lauren? I'm getting it in the back middle. It's. Got, I just said what I'm getting. It is getting like rolling black smoke. You're trying to keep it cut. Oh, oh yeah. gotcha. <laughs> it's got that really nice kind of rolling smoke, which is. Mine's running though. So you, you got the fan? Oh, nope. No, fan's no, off no. now. Okay. We're in a neutral environment and yeah, mine's running like a motherfucker. Mine's right. running as well. Maybe you guys should have used the X-Fire. So, I have no I don't know if it's I, a little dry. <laughs> it, you know? it cracks a little bit when I sort of pinch it to see where it's at. Um, mine, it's loosely wrapped though. Mine feels great as yeah. far as like, construction. Well. Yeah. I don't know what you guys are having going on over there, but uh, you know, I haven't had any run problems since I've been using that X Fire, mm -hmm. and now my first one back to it, I lit with a with a regular torch. Yeah, but I'm a man. I like big flames. So, um, <laughs> I mean, one of the big things I'm seeing here that that's kind of like it kind of bugs me is the cigar is really light. It's got really fluffy construction. I feel like it's a pretty quick smoke, and it's it's not burning super evenly. And when I'm tasting it, I need like a really kind of like bitter. Oaky stout drink to really counteract this. If I drank this with coffee, it would just be like, oh god, this would the go acidity uh, from the sugar would just be too much. Or you it would go coffee. really it good with like some sort of mixed drink. Like uh, I was thinking scotch, it was just straight no, this scotch. Is, this is really this sugary go. flavoring, and like with the acidity and coffee, it, this would not be a good pairing well, with, with coffee. coffee. Good coffee, good coffee. Good coffee. I like acidity. You gotta get coffee. some black rifle. And those oh, guys' commercials brew. are on point. 
<laughs> the Cobra Tower? Yeah, Cobra. Those are good. I wish I knew what coffee tasted like, like you guys taste it. Well, they claim <laughs> uh, they claim a uh, mellow body. Yeah, it's supposed to be a very mellow cigar. Which, I mean, they're not lying. It, it, I mean, even right off the bat, it's uh, yours is bending. That's <laughs> Uh, some bend left, some bend right, some look up at the sky and say hi. Don't worry about it. Huh. Dear penis. Dear. Rodney Carrington. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks, Sean Bottoms. Uh, they, also claim, uh, they also claim orange zest, oh. which uh, in the yes. initial impressions I'm not getting. Maybe it'll get more complex as we get down through the barrel. I just got a, the initial impression on this is it's a super casual cigar, but like... I like casual cigars that taste like cigars, not like like a vape pen. Well, give, I, give it a minute. It yeah. I mean, you just lit it, and you you, you you're still Does sucking it get on the less sweet. Yes, because the really I think the only thing that is sweetened uh, purposely is the cap. Yeah. I got two points on my ass. <laughs> and so I mean, eventually that sweetness is going to go away on the cap, and then you're just left with the cigar, kind of like that, how I felt about the Fat Bottom Betty. To where it turned into a real cigar, you know what okay. I mean? It started off as some kind of flavored thing, and it turned into something a little more substantial. I will say when you're smoking it, the kind of clouds of smoke it puts out are very substantial. Like, I feel like Bender would approve of this cigar. <laughs> I, uh, I'll have to admit, too, this is not my first time having this cigar. Me and Chad have both had this before already. Mm -hmm. Now... What is going on with your guys' cigar where Mike and I have yet to ash and both of you are like I did. just halfway through it? Mine hasn't ashed yet. Well, I mean Yeah, but yeah, it's I mean, happy Jesus. it's happy to see you. It's not burning very evenly inside. I mean I've got like a little mountain peak going on and I don't know. Yeah, I mean, price wise, where does this fall? Is this price wise this is uh about, is this for this us, is more than that American Viking we did last week, right? Lower on the upper end cigars. Okay, so it, it's not uh, too terribly high price, but it is uh, so Macanudo wise, it's actually cheaper. Yeah. Are we looking at a Leva O? No, prices? much less than no, that. No, we're no. looking at more like like a like a nub. So you got like the uh, Macanudo. Uh, so we don't say cafe. prices on here because we have a, a, an amazingly high syntax in Alaska, which makes our prices irrelevant to everybody. But people still like to send, so oh, yeah, mm -hmm. government makes its money. Yeah, I mean our our tax rate on tobacco up here is 135 percent, give or take. Yeah. Yeah. So our prices are almost double of everywhere else in the nation up here. Man. I, don't, don't get me wrong. This is not a bad cigar. You're going to lose that ash here shortly. Uh -huh. It's not a bad cigar for someone. Touch it. Touch it straight. There you go. And then you can kind of just knock it. It's not a bad cigar for someone. I don't know if that someone's me. And well, so I'm <laughs> saying it's not the cigar. It's me. Yeah, you got one that's just burning all sorts of crazy like. And then, Lori, yours looks like yours is mellowed out to normal. It burns really well. It's just... Well, I mean, it's, you had that runner at first, but now it's, yeah, see, got it's kind of coming down. See, it's I, coming mine kind of started with a runner, but then ever since that runner started, it, it's all burned. I still have the runner, but it hasn't gotten bigger. It's just burning evenly now. So I think I probably lit it unevenly, to be honest. I think I'm getting like a new flavor in it. I'm starting to get a little bit of like, uh, not cedar, but maybe like a mellow oak. Yep. And. I'm getting a little bit of spice coming through at the very I wonder, forefront of my mouth, not what, in the back. So the front would be, so it's a little like a sweeter bitter, like almost, well, because they claim like orange the zest. No. Actually, I'm tasting no. that after taking a sip of uh, the uh, whiskey here. Red breast? Get, uh, is that red, is are you drinking red breast? Yeah. Okay. Red breast, the whiskey of the evening. My scar has a tumor. <laughs> no, because I'm yeah. drinking four roses. Yeah, so it, it's uh, getting a little bit uh, more of the flavors coming out too with that. <laughs> Well, thank you. Do they like take the leaves and they roll up both sides? Just got one. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did we have? Uh, what, did, what was the cigar we had the other day that had the, t the, the, the that tubular roll? Have you heard of those? Mm -mm. Oh, so there's three that, different uh, kinds of rolls. El Rey del Mundo, I think. Is that it? And uh, and so it's a tubular roll. So instead of packing it traditionally, they roll up all the leaves and and lay them before they roll it up. So it's a bunch of rolled That's leaves a tighter bundle. and rolled the same direction as the cigar. Is that was the first time I've ever had a cigar rolled that way? It hmm. probably drew differently too. It it it, it did, and it but it it um, I liked the way it. There wasn't. It was a real easy draw, 
but it burned real nice. Now, that was not a cigar for me, for sure. It was uh, a little bit stronger than I would generally like for yeah. a cigar, but it <clears throat> did smoke pretty well. I, I liked it. I had it with, uh, I think I had it with Angel's Envy, which is a sweeter whiskey, and I thought it paired great because it was a little strong. Which is ironic, because Angel's Envy is mostly rye. I know, but yeah. it's but it's but Angel's Envy to me is sweet on the palate. So, as as far as makeup, what what is the claim to fame with this? Is it's it's aged in bourbon, or they soak the leaves in bourbon? Uh, yeah, it's yeah, got a, a bourbon. bourbon infusion with it, and uh, it, you know you get that little bit of a cherry flavor in there also. Um, What's the makeup of it? Well, it's a Toro. So it's well, this one specifically. Uh, do they make them in anything besides the Toro? Because this is a what a six by so, fifty. Yeah. This is a six by fifty Toro. Is what yeah. we're smoking. I didn't know if they made them in an, in any other variation. Uh, I'm pretty sure they got like a four different, uh, five yeah, different no, other ones. That would make sense. Um, but uh, yeah, it's like a Ecuadorian uh, Connecticut shade wrapper. Um, you got uh, Ecuadorian filler and a or a, yeah, Ecuadorian binder. Binder, Ecuadorian and, uh, binder. Uh, Dominican filler. Yeah. Every time I puff, I just get like a chocolate taste, like Hershey's Kisses, the sort of mass-produced. Yeah, I chocolate. see. I've been trying to, I've been trying to like uh, choke up on the cap a little bit to try to get past that sweetness. Yeah. So I, I know there's sun-grown binders, and then there's uh, like sh not binders, wraps, wraps, mm -hmm. and then there's shade-grown, shade grown, there's yeah. sun-grown, and then there's whatever the fuck happens this week grown, <laughs> which is usually on the cheaper stuff. Yeah. They just say it's Ecuadorian instead of Ecuadorian sun grown or shade grown. So like shade grown, it's it's kind of like high altitude plants, if I remember correctly. It, it <clears> increases <throat> the nicotine content a little bit. I don't I don't know the mechanics Could behind it. it. Yeah. And because uh, I I've referenced it, you know, I've read a couple of books about cigars, so it's some it's some shitty ass book knowledge that I don't know how to apply properly. Um, so you say you're a book enthusiast? No, no, not really. But uh, uh, but. Uh, and I still don't properly understand um, the <laughs> thinking behind shade grown. I'm not good. I'm not. I'm not good enough. Like I know, high altitude plants get more succulent, and a lot of the compounds we find enjoyable grow more prevalently in high altitude fruits like and coffee. stuff. Like high altitude coffee, high altitude mangoes are like really expensive because they just are like the distilled essence of that flavor. Well, because they get, look, uh, it's because uh, you get, they get, uh, they, I mean, it wouldn't be a slower grow. You got a fucking mess going on there, man. I, yeah. I'm going to have to try, I'm going to try. Yeah, fix it. Just go ahead and fix it, man. But, like, I'm, I'm trying. I don't dislike this cigar, but it's becoming more peppery. I wonder if it's because it's, I'm getting it's, that yeah. pepper. It's supposed to be slow smoked, maybe. Well, you know, cognac would probably go really good with this cigar. Well, probably. Well, I mean, cognac goes, it, oh, it goes seems, good um, anything. But it seems like uh, sacrilegious to say, I'm going to take this bourbon cigar and I'm going to match it with some scotch or some cognac, you know what I mean? But well, it almost I, I needs a flavor it, to offset yeah, it. I would say that uh, they probably were intending to have it uh, with something that's like a whiskey sour or something like that. Or some sort of mixed drink because of all the other flavors that they're supposed to have in here, like the cherry and the or like a, bit of orange. Like an old-fashioned, especially if they're claiming yeah. orange zest, uh, an old-fashioned would go great with mm -hmm. this. You know, how's it go with bubbles? <laughs> Dip it a little bit. No. <laughs> bubbles goes with I mean, everything. It does go really good with this whiskey, though. So, for going sure. around the table, Chad, what is your mid stick impression? And we're going to go <sighs> clockwise. Mid stick, I, I like it. I mean, I'm starting to get that oak uh, less now, but that uh, pepper coming in a little bit stronger. Um, but not very much of that pepper. It's uh, very mild. I mean,. I almost would say it's like a aftertaste of everything. You're not really getting much of it. I would, um, I would agree to a, to a certain extent. It's um, it's becoming a little more complex. At yeah. the forefront, it was just sweet on sweet on sweet. Like I'm definitely getting, you know, you're getting the sweet out of the cap, and then uh, you're getting the like she said, like she's tasting chocolate, like the nougat. That makes mm -hmm. sense. I'm getting that too. Uh, but as we're getting farther into mm -hmm. it, especially. I think the the pepper and the oak is yeah. getting a little more. Do Hershey's yeah. Kisses have nougat? I don't think so. No, they can. You can get. You just Hershey's gotta mix it in nougat. there afterwards. It just every <laughs> like even still like I definitely get the oaky and the peppery taste. <clears> it's <throat> hitting the front of my tongue a lot, but every time I draw in or pull, you're just getting I get chocolate. that chocolate. That sort of, but it's not like good chocolate. 
<laughs> like, <laughs> produced you chocolate. compared it to it's Hershey's? Like, like, like old Hershey's like chocolate. This episode brought to you by Hershey's. <laughs> it is. You know, not that's good like chocolate. The, that's the only chocolate that I can like match this to is, is like an old Hershey's kiss that you found in your jackpot. So when it's all like <laughs> blue, I'm gonna eat it anyways. Like chocolate bloom in it, where it starts turning white. Yeah. Ugh, that's stuff. Grandpa's nasty. candy. It is. Out of his pocket. Here you go. Have you know, some chocolate. You're a kid. You just like eat whatever you find. God, I remember discovering dark chocolate at the age of five and being like, this is a lie! Yeah. I don't, I don't know how people like dark chocolate. I, like I love now. milk chocolate. Oh, uh, so delicious. I, don't, I can't tell the difference. Ray loves 100% dark cacao. Dark cacao. cacao. <laughs> yeah. I see you are also a connoisseur of Portlandia. <laughs> no. Oh. I know I know a couple of things. I know put a bird on it, which is uh, anytime you want to make something from a, a thrift shop fancy. You just buy a lamp, you put a bird on it. Well, it's an artisanal, <laughs> artist-made, artesian lamp. <laughs> um, artisanal, so artist-made. My mid-stick oh, impression on this guy is You're that, almost end of the stick No impression. shit, we better hurry up and get to the That's end of the stick impression. That's halfway. That's <laughs> halfway. Speaking of things that don't make sense, my thermometer said it was minus zero today, and I was like, the degrees do not exist anymore. <laughs> minus zero. <laughs> minus zero. <laughs> it's measuring non-Euclidean physics. The temperature <laughs> is non-existent. Minus zero. Cancel itself out. So, I'm, I'm sorry. My mid-stick impression. <laughs> what is going on with your cigar, man? So my mid-stick impression here is <laughs> it's completely different than all of your guys' stuff so far. <laughs> I'm tasting a little bit of chocolate, but what I'm mainly getting is mid-tongue, not tip, not back, <coughs> mid-tongue, spice. Just constant, like burning spice. I think you're hotboxing the fuck out of it. I don't yeah. think I am. She's I think that's what your. I think that's why yours looks like that. I've been puffing the shit out of this man, and I have not yeah, gotten. Yeah. How help. are you guys so much farther? So I'm getting that spice, and then I'm getting a little bit of like that. <laughs> not even gonna cut to us. I'm getting that little bit of sickly sweet flavor on the back of my tongue, and I'm getting a hint of that like bourbon esters, like a little bit of the oakiness, a little bit of the sweetness from the bourbon, but it's just like a whisper of bourbon. And I wish it was like, more like a scream of bourbon and like a whisper of the chocolate and everything else. Can That's, you, you've just described the maker, that Maker's Mark cigar that we had. Did no one tell you that you're not supposed to eat the orange wine when you were a child? <laughs> <laughs> or the lead paint chips. <laughs> Can you explain uh, sickly sweet to me, please? Like cotton candy is sickly sweet is what no. I think. Yeah. Have you ever eaten a slightly off fruit that's probably starting to turn into wine? That's sickly oh, that's sweet. Get, that's how animals get drunk. Yeah, that's yeah. sickly sweet. So speaking of that, we used to watch the birds eat the uh, berries off the tree in the springtime. Yeah. Oh my God, they would start falling over off the tree. <laughs> so I still have apples on my tree in the yard and cherries and a moose came through and cleared them all out. That moose was laying down in the street like sideways. <laughs> for like two hours, and I'm like, you got fucked up! You know what, I have a, I have a, um, you know, I drove by a moose on 6th Avenue, the middle of downtown yesterday, was it, I think it was Wednesday. Oh, really? Yeah, and it was causing a traffic jam, because it was standing in the far right lane, eating a tree that was on the sidewalk, and that. I was gonna, uh, pull that video to show, you know, a, an Alaskan even? traffic jam. Yeah. There's a fucking moose's ass <laughs> in the road, and everybody's gotta dodge it. Where on 6th was it? Uh, it was standing outside uh, Urban Out, not uh, Urban Outfitters, Sixth Avenue Outfitters, oh, okay. jo Pangea. You know where Pangea yeah. is? Yeah. And it, no, no, it was eating a tree in front of Pangea. Oh. With its ass in Sixth Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Stupid move. So That's why everybody. I was like, why the fuck is everybody slowing down? What's the? Uh, is there a video of that somewhere? Yeah, I have mm -hmm. a dash cam. Oh, sure. Yeah. Oh. I have a dash cam. I well, can just pull it. Young Jamie, can you look that up for us? Yeah, here, you want keys to my truck or upstairs, just go grab the SIM card. I can't. I'm smoking the cigar with you guys. <laughs> we have... Young Jamie's a title. I don't know if you realize this or not. <laughs> I thought perfect. it was me. Mm -mm. You're Chad Jamie. CJ. Jamie. Chad Jamie, Jamie. Wilkins. <laughs> Jamie. Jamie. Alright, so uh, should we talk about what we're going to uh, <clears throat> compare these to? How are we going to rate these? Uh, I was thinking viruses. Since that's a hot thing right now. <laughs> it's also going to date the video, though, but... Uh, I'll rate this a Corona. Yeah. No. Too, a little bit too on the nose with that it's joke. stomach flu. I get to stay home from school and <laughs> work. Stomach flu. <laughs> but, you know, it'll go away. <laughs> it's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah. At least it's not diarrhea. That's all. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Dysentery is not a fun one to have, guys. Oh. I know. It fucks Oregon Trail every time. Mm. Oh no, we could we could rate it by uh, destinations in Alaska that we like. 
my camera. How relatable is that to people watching them? Uh, I'm oh, going don't by the go Discovery the Channel. Do not highly relatable. The bus. <laughs> oh, uh, you mean the. Uh, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. guy who died at the bus. And yeah. don't, other don't, people have died there now. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't cross the river in winter. Get stuck in spring. Eat berries. Get dysentery, and then die. Yeah, Did, uh, is that what he died from? Was dysentery? Oh, I man, I feel bad from, for him. They were like trying to get to the bus, and they like got frostbite. What's the bus? The um, oh god, what McCants? was his name? Not um, McCletus. Into the wild. Is that the yeah? Bus? Into the wild. Yeah. The guy. He, there's a guy that goes, and he like. Like lives in this bus and he decides that he's gonna like live out in the wild. Is that the grizzly bear? No, 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 no. no. Oh, okay. like, he some, got eaten by a grizzly bear like, though. Lower 48 East mm-hmm. Coast person, I think, and mm-hmm. he came up here and was just gonna like live in the last wilderness and he ate poisonous berries and died. <laughs> yeah. He why? Died. Did, why? What? What does that have to do with a bus? I it's don't out in the middle. It. No, so, he lived in the bus. The bus like, is it like a bus or like too. a micro bus? Like a like is it a V Dub or is it like? I have a legit explanation for this. So, he wrote a memoir while he was there. It got published. My, after my stomach he, don't feel so good. After, <laughs> no. he, he wrote, he wrote a memoir, <laughs> and it's this whole thing about how you strip off the bonds of society and you go live a simplistic yeah. life. It's very appealing when you're a teenager. So he's like a, he's like a, he's like a, he's almost like a hippie Unabomber. Kind of. Yeah. So he started off <laughs> with Unabomber a really good a job, and then he's like, you know what, fuck this shit. I want to go live life like a, a to the way I want to like live. Like a hobo. Like a hobo. In a bus. Pretty much. He hitchhiked across America and he's like, oh, I heard about Alaska. It's pretty cool. Where did he get the bus? No, the bus? no, the was bus there. was there. The bus is oh. already there. It's been there for a long time. Why is, it, why is there a bus out in the middle of nowhere? Someone, things drove, out in the middle of nowhere someone drove it out there when the Hickel Highway <laughs> existed. Uh-huh. And they parked it and never went and got yeah, it? They, they parked is, it uh, yeah, and used Denali it as a place area. to camp when it was <coughs> there and they're hunting. It's it's kind of, They left it as like a shelter. And then... Oh, like here, live in the bus if you find yourself out here in the middle yeah. of nowhere, you can live in this bus. Don't eat the berries in the glow compartment because <laughs> they're going to fuck you up. Or, or more like it's, you know, blowing snow sideways, you need shelter, hang out here. Okay. That kind of thing. Alaska there's history. No, there's no heat though. Isn't well, there, yeah, it's a bus. Make your own fire. <laughs> Isn't there a <laughs> fire in the bus? Yeah, but with all like the the mobile homes and the people that live in their little tiny homes and stuff, people they're oh, like, yeah. oh, just like you know, start the stove. No. In it's a an bus. Abandoned bus yeah. In the middle of Alaska. So isn't there a bridge just a few miles north or know. south no. of the river? The bridge doesn't exist. I just anymore. know. But there was, every wasn't year there? Go yeah, the, out there and the at least Highway. One group of people like get stuck and yeah. lost and die. Well, it's a call. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> On that oh, sideline. Chad. Chad. What do we want to write? Chatted. Yeah, Chad chatted. Chad chatted. Son of a bitch. Uh, what do we, we want to rate these? In? We got to figure out what we're going to rate these because we're going to get to end of stick impressions. I don't even know if I can yeah. get to end of stick impressions by the time you guys get there. I, I'm, I'm getting closer. I'm working on it, but I'm talking too much, I think. Yeah, I'll set mine down for a few moments. So, uh, what about... Uh, Beards? Uh, well, we got the new movie that uh, just got delayed. Doug's. A couple of uh, years, <laughs> or a couple of months. The uh, Bond the movie? James Bond movies. What? You want to rate it as Bond movies? Why? Uh, uh, I think we've, we have. I think we have. Yeah, we have. Okay, uh, a couple times now. Really? Different. Different. Uh, who's your favorite James Bond? Favorite James Bond movie? We've done it twice. Okay. Now. All right. We can do it again. In, no. In a year or so, when people's memory forgets, <laughs> and no one watches these videos, <laughs> and no one watches the old ones, if we're yeah. still doing these. This is a vanity project. Who cares? Yeah. Well, so, uh, speaking of which, we've almost been doing this a year. Yeah. I know we've been doing the night videos. Will be a year, real soon. If not already, I think it's. I think it's half, already year, been a year. Half, yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it, no sooner than November. Uh, November. November will be like two years. November or December will be two years. These fans, uh, it's like, nope. Because uh, we started off with night videos first, but Terribly. then we figured, yeah. <laughs> but then we figured, hey, we're, we already got it set up. How about we? And we sit down here and smoke cigars, so yeah. we might as well. Record that. Who's here? Up this is why we're not very coherent. <laughs> who here is up and up on YouTube personalities? We can rate nope. by YouTube. Nope. I don't know. Yeah. Nope. No. Let's go uh, by who we like the most here. I vote myself as number one. <laughs> Dakota, <Okay. laughs> you're zero. <laughs> I'm g- you're negative zero. Yeah. I'll be negative zero. You can be zero. Yeah. This, this womanizing asshole vote. <laughs> so this is a mid range. This is definitely a Chad. Yep. I mean, no, you know, you don't go. really want him to show up, but if he shows up. By the way, Ch- Chad's going to be in a beard competition in like 
24 hours. 24 yeah. hours, yeah. Yeah, 24 hours. And uh, this will be the last time you guys get to see this luscious beard. Unless you go to back other videos and that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been growing mine out. Yeah, uh, I'll be a little bit longer than you. I, I haven't, I'll, I haven't trimmed it in, uh, <laughs> I haven't trimmed it in like three weeks. You should get Melissa to braid in part of Doug's beard into your Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd, that'd be weird. weird. I was gonna I try to go have, uh, uh, his bracelet. So. I, I was gonna try to go one year uh, with only just kind of maintenance without cutting any length off. Yeah, That's just, what I did last time, and as I this is divorced. almost a year's length, yeah. Oh yeah. I'd say March. Really? Or no? Yeah, I guess it is yeah. now March. Um, like, so this is a year's this length. This is what you had when I met you, and when I married you. This is what you'll have when you die. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <clears throat> So, uh, how are we going to rate these again? I forgot. What did we decide on? Um, See, which... this is why Farva did not want to sit on that chair, because he can't fucking fit on it. What's, uh, <laughs> what's something you can't you're this on passionate me. about? You can't do this. Um, dinosaurs. You got the brown How about candy bars? Thunder candy lizard. bars, yeah. Candy. Oh, there we go. Candy bar. Uh, candy, candy bars, some kind of sweet. Yeah. Does, that works Kind of works with this. You thing. already used it a few times. So we're well, is she gonna call an old Hershey kiss? Yeah, <laughs> it's it's an old Hershey kiss, kiss that you found in your pocket. I'll still eat it. <laughs> I'll still eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I was a kid. Okay. <laughs> I'm good with candy. You guys. Uh, good I'm good with, with some kind of candy. So I mean, I got nothing, but I'll figure it out on the way. Um, how about we have Lori go first, since she's already got one in the wings. We're going clockwise. Chad. Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> wow. Really? I'll start it off. Yeah. Fuck me. I'm I'll go with. Uh, no, I'm good. So my favorite candy is a Tootsie Roll. Um, <laughs> really? Yeah, I love. I will mow down a whole big bag of Tootsie Rolls I feel, and not realize. Please it. Uh, blow, blow up. up. The uh, this is not a Tootsie Roll for me, but it is <laughs> up there. Um, I would go with probably. Uh, I mean, I used to love Snickers, but now they're kind of like just below uh, the top category. We're not like, about like if someone had a Tootsie Roll and a Snickers, you'd go Tootsie Roll. N well, yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's fucking weird to me. Yeah, He's got is. some childhood memories. So, uh, the frozen Snicker bar in the summertime. Oh, pretty fuck bomb. Man. So, yeah, but the Tootsie Roll scrimmage. up here, I'd say Snickers right, you know, just below it, not too far down. This is a pretty good cigar is for me. Is this what you're doing? This right here. Yeah, that's what so, you're doing. This okay, you so, wanna see. Is, is this what you, what you wanna to? see? So this isn't top of the food chain, but it's it's up there for it's you. It's up there. I do like this. I really enjoy it with a little bit of uh, a sip after this. Does bring out a lot of those flavors for me. I will I agree with that. Sure. It yes. really does contrast the sweetness in this well. You definitely. Should I have switched to the red breast then? Mm, yours has more like a sherry kind of overtone to it, which isn't bad. The four roses is pretty good stuff. But I would say this is a Snickers for me. Definitely a good candy <laughs> bar, but it's not uh, not my favorite. But I will eat a Snickers every time I, I find one. <laughs> <laughs> find one in the pocket. I'm eating this. I do not have mine. No, okay. I don't know. I'll do mine. I was, I was lost. Um, in the, hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> Lord, do you have yours? Because I got mine. And Dakota goes, all right, I'll go. <laughs> there goes that womanizing. Do you have yours? Go for it, Lori. Go for it, Lori. I didn't hear her either. Hershey kiss in a pocket. Man, Jamie, I hope you're listening to this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was great. Oh, I was like, I guess I'm invisible today. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to rate this as a uh, Trader Joe's um, box of... Alcohol infused chocolates that Amy <laughs> brought back for me for Christmas. She bought That's uh, suspiciously specific. <laughs> yeah. uh, she bought Emily back one and I got one. And there's white chocolate, milk chocolate, and dark chocolate. And like, you eat one and you're like, I don't know about this, but you know, once you've had a, like a, a bubbles or two and you're like, I could eat one, I could eat a couple more. And then you eat a couple more and you're like, oh, I need to slow down. You know, once you get into it, it's, once you start, it's not the greatest, but once you start having a couple and the taste layers up in your mouth, you're like, okay, I can keep eating this, and then there's alcohol in it, so, yeah. you know. Yeah, <laughs> I got you. I have some left over if you want some. I haven't eaten all of it. So. Uh, I want to try one. They're like little couple size ones. That's Mike, do you want to go next? Oh, oh wait, Dakota? <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you decide. <laughs> I think you should go. Okay. Say the best. <laughs> so, oh, man. Oh, as this cigar has progressed, like, unlike the Fat Bottom Betty, it does not progress into a, what I would consider like a real cigar. It still okay. keeps those sweet flavors. It's very flavored. It's not a Swisher Sweet. It is definitely light years beyond that, but it has that kind of 
I feel like you don't like this cigar. Yeah, it's it's you, too, can, you can be honest. It's too flavored for me, but like I would I would call this a Charleston chew. What? Charleston chew. Because I see it every uh, once in a while. Never have and I'm like, oh, cool. I remember this one as a kid. That's really awesome. And I get it. And then my mouth glues shut and I can't <laughs> chew it. And it has no flavor. And it's just like, it's really just kind of like, oh, man. And then you just kind of muscle your way through it because you're like, I spent the money. That's <laughs> On a Charleston chew. Yeah. I cannot throw away this 95 cents. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cheap. <laughs> but like, I, I don't know. This, this was not my bag. It's someone's bag. It's not mine. Because uh, I found this book that says this is my bag, babe. <laughs> exactly. Mike? Uh, Milky Way. Milky Way. Because uh, I... Uh, I, uh, I don't it's really fine. like Milly, Milky Ways. They're not my favorite in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> uh, but uh, I have found an appreciation for them. You know what I mean? Uh, mostly because like, if you have like the little bite-sized ones, a bag like I'll keep a me and my wife have a bag of the little bite-sized things. It's in the fridge It's the same bag that's been in the fridge for like God knows how long we, I mean I eat one a week So how long does it take to go through a bag and then I got down to the bottom and it was like all Milky Ways <laughs> You know cuz I just I would always pick out a Milky Way and put it back So then I had to eat you know I ate these Milky Ways and I found an appreciation for them and I and I, they ended up being kind of good They're um, not necessarily I definitely wouldn't <laughs> yeah. Dude. It apparently was in the bottom of my glass. All right, uh, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't go into our humidor and go for one of these. Mm -hmm. uh, much the way I wouldn't go and buy a Milky Way. But if you handed me one, I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna eat this. I'll eat this. Yeah. And so if somebody handed me another one of these, I would, I'd smoke it, and and I could, and I'd be all right with it, because uh, it's mellow, it's non-offensive. You know what I mean? There's nothing, there's nothing I dislike about it, but there's not really anything I like about it. And that's exactly what a Milky Way is to me. I, I can't really hate it for a reason, but there's nothing about it that draws me in. I'd say we, we, we should producer. probably find the right drink to pair with it. I agree. Because, I mean, taking a little sip, I'm getting a lot more out of this. I'm drinking I the think, same thing, and I'm not getting that, man. I man, see, I, I think what you pair with it. this is half of what you get out of it. Mm -hmm. Whether it be coffee or cognac or bubbles or, you know what I mean? I think that's half of it, and yeah. I think I've paired incorrectly. Because I did enjoy it a little bit more the first time I had it mm -hmm. with the Angel's Envy, which was sweeter, which I think complemented it well. But I'm not um, not enjoying it as much the second yeah, time around. Definitely find something <laughs> sweet to drink with it. It, it is turning good.